Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be introducing a new segment called Fingers Crossed where I'll be trying out highly raved about products for the very first time and actually share the experience with you. So today's product is actually Aqua Bob's Marbling Mask and I finally got my hands on it because I think it's actually only available in Korea. So my friend just came back and she got it for me and I'm just super excited to try it. It costs 30,000 won which is actually about 30 USD and it comes in like this bulky kind of pack plastic packaging. So I'm just going to open it up and there are four spatulas. So it's about 30 USD for like four times use. It's about 750. It's slightly more expensive than normal masks but yeah it actually has four big packets here and actually four small packets. So I read the instructions beforehand just just so I'm ready for this you know video. And you're supposed to make one big one big one and one small one and mix it in the plastic container that they actually provide. So let's get to it. So I'm just gonna use this small packet and put it inside right now. This is like more of a powdery, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's more powdery form. Now for the big packet, kind of gelish, I don't really know. I'm just gonna squeeze it out so that it actually turns out well. Okay, so I hope you guys can see that and I'm just gonna start mixing it right now. I'm supposed to mix it until it turns into like a really good paste and like the powders are all inside the gel. So I think it's about done when it reaches like kind of this, I don't know if you can see like goopy kind of consistency. And yeah, I'm just going to smear it all over my face right now and see how it goes. Oh my goodness, it's so weird feeling. It's like a very like gelish. It's really cooling though, so like if you have red cheeks like mine, right, you can actually really help to cool it down. I think I'm gonna try and smear it. I don't know if you guys can see it. I'm actually not using a mirror, so I hope I'm doing this right. There's a lot, a lot of product actually. It almost feels like, you know those fancy facials that when you go to, and then people are like, oh, oops, people are like trying to do it for you, but that was like at home facial. At home facial. In the background. I'm actually so serious, you know. I think you want to try and get even texture, but I don't know what I can get it. Okay, I actually have to look into the mirror now, so please pardon me. Guys, I have to spread it properly. <laughs> I can't spread it properly, eh? How come, Mom? So you can just say that, lah. <laughs> It's very goopy. I don't know how it's supposed to turn out. Guys, it's not going as I expected. I don't know why it's so highly raved about. I can't even get it right. This spatula is no good. How come it's drooping? Did I not mix it right? Okay, it's starting to harden. It's starting to harden. Maybe if I just leave it on, you know, it'll be like better. I did the Glam Glow Supermart review, which you can go check it out, right? But that one, like, the mask feels tingly, but this is more, like, moisturising and it doesn't really, like, feel like there's, like, anything happening on my, like, skin. Like, it's not, like, tightening or whatever. It just feels like, like, a cool sheet on you. Like, yeah, that's the best explanation. A cool sheet on you. Oh, okay, wait. That means that it's been 20 minutes, so I have to peel it out. Peel. I'm gonna peel from the sides, because that's what they said I should do. And, you know, I want to try follow instructions, despite uh, my earlier efforts. Oh, it peels off really well. I hope you guys can see it. It actually peels off in one sheet. Oh, it's like so ticklish. It's like totally hardened. I don't know if you guys can see it. Like the whole paste has totally hardened. Okay, I'm gonna continue taking out. And again, there's no mirror. I highly advise you to do this like with a mirror. But it comes off really easily and it's not like painful or anything. It feels really, really like cooling but it feels a bit sticky as well I think because it's like still a peeling gel or not peeling gel, marbling mask so it feels a bit sticky so firstly application wise was just so messy like it was dripping everywhere like I just I, I couldn't control it it was just hard to like apply it and like make a smooth texture I like the part that it was really moisturizing and hydrating and it felt quite good on my skin and it's like really nice to you know like the peel off which is great for sensitive skin because like it's really mild when you peel it off but 
the application wise just made it like a chore to do so and I just yeah I think it's it's good to try if you want to like give it a shot for like one time but other than that I think the money is not worth it because like 750 I can just replace it with like a sheet mask and a moisturizer and it will be like have the same effect I feel so yeah I think it'll be good to try once like for to just give it a try for like the novelty sake but other than that um, I'm not that much into this hype so yeah so that's it for this episode of Fingers Crossed. I hope you guys like it. If you guys have any other products that are hyped up that you want me to try, please leave them down in the comment box down below. And as usual, if you like this video or if it made you laugh, please give it a thumbs up. It will really mean a lot to me. And if you want to see more episodes or any other videos, please remember to hit the subscribe button down below or at the side. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! channel and today I'll be doing the Korean morning skincare routine. I've already done a night